Hi and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm super excited because I just am. <laughs> so let's jump right on into this video. So first off, I want to share my calendar layout with you. Here is my cute little planner. And you can see all the cute little decorations I have on it. I just love this. And that was last minute, but I love it. And here's my medium-sized planner. And let me just say, I really didn't do much other than putting in my little tabs here to write next to. But other than that, no real decorating. So, maybe I'll do something next week. Because again, y'all remember, the stuff that you see, this was put on December of last year. So, we will see if I feel like adding more to it. So I want to talk about last week's training, uh, you know, my training in the gym. And it actually went pretty good. Uh, my coach had me go up in my squat to 145 pounds for five sets of 10. And you might be thinking, Michelle, why so light? Well, because it's not about the weight. He knows that I can handle the weight. My max squat is 275 pounds for one rep. We're working more on the conditioning. And let me just tell you, when I'm doing 10s, y'all, I'm starting to diet around the 7th rep. When I come up with that 7th rep, I say to myself, Lord, I only have 3 more reps. And that's like the hardest 3 reps of my life. So I'm getting better. Because when I started doing this a few weeks ago, I was dying at rep number 5. So it's getting better, and I'm just going to keep working at it until I get there where I can do all 10 and not be winded. But my coach did assure me, he said, Michelle... Being winded like that is not a problem. And on my last rep, if you've ever seen any of my squat videos, I tend to sit on the bottom on that last rep. And it's not that I'm showing off or any of that. It's just that I need to catch my breath. That's why I'm sitting down there. So you do what you have to do so that, so that when I'm ready to compete, I can get the numbers that I want to get. So other than that, I'm, I'm really excited about my program. Now, I have to admit, you guys, I've kind of fallen off the wagon the last two weeks with my cardio, but I need to get back on board because we're 80-some days out until summer. So, I decided this week I'm getting back on track with my cardio. And I was doing AM cardio Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings, but I think for the next couple of weeks anyway, to make up for the last two weeks, I'm going to just get up and do AM cardio Monday through Friday. Friday, well, Monday through Saturday, and I'll rest on Sunday. So next week, I'll let you know how that goes. And so uh, next on my list, I wanted to show you guys, I love watching this YouTube channel. In fact, I was looking at it be before I started doing this video, and it's Hardworking Mom. And as you can see, I'm looking at one of her videos now where she's taking a garden hose and making a wreath out of it. So she has this cardboard that she uses, hold on you guys, I accidentally hit the play button and lost where I was. Oh well, I'll figure it out. So she has, she made a, created a tool for cutting her ribbon easy. So if you don't have a tool for cutting your ribbon, measuring it out, I should say, it, it, it makes it a little harder because you have to measure it out. Uh, I do my, my ribbon in six inches. You can do eight, you can do 10. And so I would have to put it on my little mat. You all can't see it, but I can see it. My little mat. And I had to cut it and then, you know, measure it out again and cut it. So I love that she took just a piece of cardboard like this. And this is, uh, this is six inches. So what I do is I... Let me see if I can show you real quick with this piece of ribbon. So, so let's say this was on a spool, right? And I take my ribbon... And I started here, and I put this piece of washi here to let me know this is the top. So I would lay my ribbon like this on here, make sure it's all the way to the flush to the top. And then I would take that ribbon and wrap it around just like this. I know that's one. And if this were longer, and as I'm wrapping it around, then what happens is, because I know this is the top of my cardboard, I take my scissors and I snip it here so that when it comes off, I have my ribbon at my desired length. So this was actually a piece of scrap, but I just wanted to use that to show you. So this is so helpful because I can wrap my ribbon around. I typically cut five pieces of ribbon at one time. So like I said, I have a six inch and I have an eight inch. 
I, and she has a 10 as well. Started to do that, and I thought, eh, I'm not. When it gets to be 10 inches to me, that's just a little too long for my ribbon. So six and eight are perfect. I mostly only use six. So like I said, y'all, this is so easy. Now you can buy ribbon cutting tools and spend money, but I figure, you know, why? I have boxes. All I did was cut two pieces of of a box top and took some electrical tape. And hers in the video, um, hers is blue. I just had I happen to have silver, so I wrapped the silver around, and it does the same thing. And it cost me nothing extra. There's supplies that I already had. So I'm excited about that, and I actually want to find some more ribbon to cut up just so I can use it. And what's next? Oh, so I have been working, you guys, on two more wreaths. So I want to show you my latest projects i'll show that one last and so these are my ladybug reef projects that i've been working on hold on one second here let me get all my mesh and stuff forward hope you all can see that yep there it is and so you see the cute little ladybug ribbon right here i love 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 this and i added black into it now i'm going to change this black ribbon out because like i said while i love this and this is the black that i used on my bumblebee wreath that i showed you guys and while i like it i really wish it were wider so i actually placed an order on last friday with craft outlet to get some of the wide black ribbon i think i'm going to take it so it'll be as wide as the the ladybug ribbon and I think I'm going to use that instead. May, I, you know what? I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it on here. But going forward, I'm only going to use the wide ribbon. And I love this black ribbon, don't get me wrong, because it is black and it's wired. So I can bend it and curl it at the end and it'll stay. So this is one of my projects, you guys. I'm showing it to you again. And you'll notice that I have... So what I did was I did the rolled method with the red and the white and I went all the way around and of course you can see this is a much smaller wreath wreath form that I'm using and that's why you can see the whole thing in the frame and the other ones you could not so that's one and here is the other one again love 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 this ribbon you guys and this one as you can see is I, I did the what did I do with this one I did the poof method with the red mesh and then I added uh, I rolled up a piece of black and added an in and then I put my ladybug ribbon on here how cute is that and now this I only did one reef for this one and so I believe for this reef maybe the other one I'll keep that black but for this reef I am going to add a piece of the the the, the thick black ribbon to it and I'm actually also kind of sort of thinking about adding a rolled piece of like i have the black here of white into it to make it pop a little bit more but then i thought you know what no michelle just leave it red and black with the ribbon that you have and move on with life so we'll probably do that now let me show you one thing or say, point out something that you may or may not have noticed and this one is not as bad as the other one is but when you cut your mesh it tends to start fraying a little bit and fraying is like this unraveling that you see and you probably again can't really see it the ends and stuff right here so what I'm going to have to do when I'm actually finished with it because there's one there's something else I need to add to both of these I'll tell you what that is in a second so what I'm gonna have to do is once I get everything on the way I want it I am going to in fact probably tomorrow I'll stop at the store and pick up some of the spray glue I know um, but what is this lady's name? Well, her, her, like I said, her channel is Hardworking Mom. But I think her name is Lori because she always says, Hey, Lori here. <laughs> so she recommended getting the Elmer's spray glue. And so, but I think I saw an older video where she used a different one. So I'm just going to find the Elmer's spray glue and spray the entire wreath. Because like I said, once you cut it, you have, like you all can't see this, but I'm holding it in my hand. Well, that just came off. But you have these little pieces that they start to fray and it looks like it's going to unravel. Now, I don't know that it will completely unravel but you know the chance chances there and like here's a piece of the white from the other one so i would just want to keep it from unraveling too much and on this one you can see it a little bit more some of the pieces i can just pull off but some of them i don't want to pull off but yeah this has 
a, quite a bit of fraying on it and so like I said I will get my glue and fix that up so those are my latest two projects and like I said I did just place a huge order almost an $80 order with craft outlet I cannot wait till my stuff comes I believe it should be here by Wednesday I'm not sure so fingers crossed that it is because I want to finish up this wreath right here just happens to be within reach this lime green wreath so I have it in this small wreath frame and I also have the the big wreath frame I'm looking at across the room and so this one is going to get the hot pink and the the bright yellow mesh that I'm going to roll and add where you see my twist still sticking up they're going to go in here and then you guys I ordered some really cute oh here's my list right here so so this is the the mesh I was telling you about see how I have this yellow and the pink that I'm, I'm going to do the rolled meth, method and add it on top of here to make it really pop on both of them actually and then I ordered these two rolls of ribbon I hope you can see that the pink and the yellow and I also ordered it in lime green right here so that's going to be to finish up those two wreaths now the other the thing that i told you i was waiting on are these cute little ladybug picks how cute is that you guys so i'm just waiting on that so that i can finish up and you know what i only ordered four Ugh. i only ordered four i really needed eight because i wanted to put four on each wreath so i'm gonna have to just place another order because i really wanted to put four on each wreath so not a problem not a problem at all i can just go and do a separate order or i can just kind of go in the store see if i can find them or find something close to it but anyway that's all i need to finish up that project so i'm super excited about my projects you guys and that brings me to my next thing I don't know if I told you guys. I probably did, but I'm not sure. I finally set up my Etsy shop. So, so far, I only have one thing on there, and that's I'm advertising the Bumblebee Wreath Kit. That is the wreath that I showed you guys last week. So, when you buy the kit, which is $55, everything comes in the box. You get the 21-inch, which is a real long roll of the yellow, and then you get the 10-inch black and a 10 inch white and you'll get the wide roll of, of ribbon oh speaking of ribbons you guys i'm sorry this is the the roll of what's left of my ladybug ribbon how cute is that you guys so cute so i have enough left to do something else with that but it'll so you'll get a roll this big just like this this big of the and that's the two 2.5 uh, inch roll of you'll get it in black and you'll get the ribbon with the bumblebees on it and you'll get the reform and you'll get the bumblebee picks that go into the wreath so i'm super 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 excited about that kit like i said it's 55 dollars and once you go on my etsy shop and i'm going to have the information in the description box where you can order your kit so you order that kit and i'll send like i said everything to you and you can put it together yourself now i will have written instructions for you i thought about doing a video of it but then i thought mm, no nah, i'll just do written instructions of course you can always call me if you have any questions so that that you can make your own wreath you guys how awesome is that and the beauty of it is is I'm shopping and buying all the stuff that you need so you don't have to go out and buy anything my kits will be oh, I'm sorry this wreath was falling over and it was bothering me you will you don't have to go out and buy anything the kit comes with everything that you need to make that wreath and and all you have to do is get your box open it up and start making your wreath you guys so like I said I will put that link in the description box but if you go to etsy and you type in michelle makes reefs my information will come up and you can find that kit now i'm um, thinking about offering the ladybug kit as well i'm gonna think about that but I'm, i really am thinking about offering the ladybug kit as well because i do do i really really love this kit not sure if i'm going to offer it with the small wreath form or the medium size we'll see yeah we'll see Next on my list, you guys, before I show you what I want to show you, y'all, I'm excited because you see this right here. 
Let me bring it a little bit closer. Look at that. So this is a $5 off coupon for every $25 that you spend at Michael's. And it's only good April the 8th through the 14th. So yes, I will be using this. So if I spend $25, I get five dollars off. If I spend fifty, I get five off. If I get spend seventy five, one hundred, one seventy five. Oh no, I'm sorry. If I spend twenty five dollars, I get five dollars off. If I spend fifty dollars, I get ten dollars off. Seventy five dollars, I get fifteen dollars off. A hundred dollars, I get twenty dollars off. A hundred and twenty five dollars, I get twenty five dollars off. So you guys, I'm not mad at all. Now I probably won't spend a hundred dollars, but I probably will get up to about 75 with stuff that I need because next week, next week, you guys, I'm going to have, I'm going to show you a wreath that I'm making for a neighbor of mine. And it's just really my way of saying thank you so much. I was in a pinch and I needed a notary like ASAP. And I just happened to see that she posted on Facebook that she's a notary. And I thought, oh my goodness. So I called her up and she said, okay, cool. What time do you leave out for work? So I told her, she said, all right, we'll stop on by and I'll go ahead and sign it for you. And she didn't charge me a dime. I said, how much do I owe you? I went to go in my wallet. She said, oh, nothing. I said, you sure? She said, yeah. I said, oh, okay, thank you so much. So I wanted to do something really nice for her. And I asked her what were her favorite colors. So I am going to be going out today to purchase the mesh and everything to do a really really cute ribbon for her door and you know y'all i'm just saying I, it's so nice to be able to do something nice for other people and that's a good way to get your product out there people see it and go oh that's a cute reef where'd you get that from and she'll say oh my neighbor michelle made it for me and then they'll go oh really i wonder if she can make one for me i certainly can let me know what it is you need, how you want it, and we I'll hook it up for you, okay? So, and that goes for you guys, too. If there is a wreath that you really want, let me know. I'll have my information in the description box, and you can reach out to me. Let me know what it is you want, and I'll be more than happy to put it together for you. That's going to be a cost involved, of course, but I'd be more than happy to put it together for you. So, moving on, I have a few things that I purchased this week that I wanted to share with you and then I promise I'll let you be so you guys know I love me some Mary Kay CC cream so uh, and my I'll leave my Mary Kay reps information in the description box Miss Daphne Holman love 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 her so we she said we were talking about something one day and I said you know I'm out of the CC cream now the CC cream is not a full coverage uh, foundation it can be if you don't have any imperfect Im imperfections and blemishes in your skin it can be a full coverage for you but if you have imperfections imperfections why can i say that word and blemishes this will probably more than likely not give you full coverage but let's say you just you know going out do some errands and you don't want all that full makeup makeup your CC cream is the way to go. So she, we were talking, and I said, yeah, I said, but you know, the CC cream that I bought really was not my skin tone. I mean, it was doable because what I did was I set it with my Mary Kay setting powder that is my for my skin tone, and it just made it balance all out. So I didn't, you know, I put the, the setting powder everywhere, but really underneath my eyes, I used a lighter setting powder. So, you know, give me that highlighted look without actually trying to do a highlighted look and so she said but you know it comes in a deep color i said for real she said yes yeah. so i ended up getting the cc cream in deep so i am love love loving it and so while i was at it i said well you know what let me i saw that they had a brush and so i ordered a new brush as if i really needed one but i do love this one and this is the mary Kay. uh liquid foundation brush let me show that to you love 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 it and as you can see it's angled you guys and it's so soft so so soft so looking forward to using this i didn't want to use it till i showed it to you guys because then i'd have to clean it right away so so those are my two latest purchases and i think that's it you guys i don't have anything else to share with you this week I just want you guys to know that I love you so, so much, and there's nothing you can do about it. So I want you to stay the amazing people that you are. Go out there and have a wonderful week. Do something wonderful. Treat yourself. I bet you some of y'all haven't treated yourselves in I don't know how long.
Well, I want you to step out there and treat yourself. Do something nice for you. Don't sit back waiting for somebody to do something nice for you. Do it for yourself. Ladies, go get your nails done. Go get your, your feet done. Get your hair done. And speaking of hair, y'all didn't notice that, that bright color right here on the end and over here. Mm-hmm. I'm loving it. So, you know, treat yourself. Get Do something for you. And guys, you know... I'm not a man, so I don't know what you all would treat yourself with. Go have a cigar at the cigar bar. I don't know what it is the men do, but treat yourself. You are special, you are worthy, and you are loved. And even if nobody else acknowledges any of that, I acknowledge it because I love you guys. So until next week, take care, and we'll talk again soon.